You're not going to get anybody leaving their religion if you're not living the life that Jesus said you could live. I had a man ask me one time, how come your Jesus is so much better? He was mad than Buddha or Muhammad. Why is yours better? I said, ain't nothing wrong with Buddha and Muhammad. They just dead. I said, and Jesus is the only one of the three that said he was the Son of God. Jesus is the only one that raised from the dead. Jesus is the only one that walked on the water. Jesus is the only one sitting at the right hand of the Father today making intercession for me and you. And he had a lot of storms in his life. But the faith walk continues. I want people to marvel at the believer's life in me, not the sins of the believer's. I'll say it and I'll say it again. I really have a hard time sinning. I've learned to embarrass sin. That's fun. You won't sin, you embarrass it. If you're walking back and some man putting an eye on you, lady, or walk up to you and say, What's happening, mama? Just holler loud, Sin! <laughs> Wife, come! Your husband's making a pass. I guarantee he'll run from you in seven ways. Embarrass that devil. Because the devil likes to look cool and calm and collected. Storms blowing. When you're in ministry, you know what I'm talking about. God says, walk by faith. I got a sign in my office. If you'd ever come, you'd see it in my personal office there at, at, at my ministry headquarters. And it's, it's in gold, lamination, paint or something. It says, go ye. What I want to put on the end of it is, where? He's never told me where. He just told me, go. Go you. I said, okay. Where? To the other side. Man, I can't even see the boat. How am I going to get to the other side? You see? And there's been times I thought that people would have to take me and put me in the boat as they took Jesus and put him in the boat. But it makes no difference what's coming your way. I realized something about the devil. He's the oldest loser I know. That boy is losing. He goes before the Father accusing me and you. Isn't that something? He accuse, how can he accuse me? I'm the redeemed of the Lord. But he does because he's an idiot. He's on the limits of retardation. I figured that out a long time ago. <laughs> Storms blowing. Faith walk continues. So how do you make that faith walk in there? By quoting the word of God. A lot of times I get up in the morning and say, Jesse, listen to me. Come here, come here, come here. What, what, what? You're a chosen generation. Oh, bless God. That makes me feel good. God chose me. You're a raw priesthood, boy. You don't have bayou water flowing through your veins. You got the blood covenant of God. You're a peculiar person. I knew that before I ever got saved. <laughs> Storm's blowing, but I'm steadfast, immovable, abounding in the work of the Lord. For I know, I'm not believing, I know in whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded. Now, I've learned something. Most people miss God, not by the devil tripping them up, but by them getting weary in the things that God wanted them to do. God said in Galatians, let us not be weary in well-doing. You standing for your husband? Yes, don't get weary about it. It's his tough luck. He married you. <laughs> Greater is he who's in you. Don't get weary in well-doing. The storm may blow, but the faith walk continues. Most people miss God, not by the devil tripping them up, but by them getting weary in the things that God wanted to do. There are many storms that come in life, but it makes no difference. Jesus has said, let us go to the other side. And if Jesus is not being disturbed by the storm, why should you? Order your copy today 